So let's say we wanted like black outlines around this 3D object, right? And this is the black outlines that I want in my city. So the way to do this, right, is first get your, your 3D object. So here it is. Here's Susan. All beautiful, right? Uh, then we get a second material. So this will just be, Su you know, Su Su is it Suzanne? Suzanne. I think that's the monkey's name. Suzanne, not Susan. Suzanne, Suzanne. Anyway, so you first thing you got to do is add two materials. You need the regular materials that you're using in the model, and then you need a second material. So let me make the second material, and I'm just gonna call this material outline. I'll hit new. We'll type in outline, right? Uh, and then instead of the principal shader, use the emission shader. That's number one. And then change the emission shader to black because we're going to do black outlines, but then you could change the colors afterwards, right? So we'll go to black. Okay. And the second thing you got to do is you got to go and add a modifier, right? And the modifier that you need to add, and it's such a neat modifier and it's such a genius way to do this. Uh, you go to modifiers and you go to solidify, right? So in solidify, what you want to do is, uh, First thing you want to do is for material, the material you want it to use is the second material. So uh, in these programming worlds, zero is technically the number one. So this is zero and the second one is number one. So then go to the materials in your modifier, solidify modifier and set it to one. So now it's going to be using the black emission modifier, right? Then what we want to do is we want to go into our materials again go to our settings and put on backface calling and what backface calling is is anything that's um like the back of a 3d plane so like if we look at susan here if we're looking in the inside all the inside part is the back of these planes of these all these individual boxes right so what we want is backface calling on so we can't see obviously nothing changes because all the faces are facing inside they're not facing us but if we go to solidify now right go to solidify modifier go to our normals uh well let me show you an example if you put up the thickness you can see that there's a black uh you can see that you can make suzanne like grow like a balloon so what we want is we're looking at the outside of the balloon we want to reverse the normals and that's just the way that the planes are facing hopefully this is not too technical you can just click the buttons if you want uh and you, for your normals you hit flip and it's all black so let me do it the other way oh 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 i had this before on my rehearsal guys there it is okay my bad so the issue was is that in the materials i forget that they have their own separate settings you see how in the settings here if you go to susan the first uh suzanne you the first material has its own settings and the second material has its own settings the one that you need backface calling for is the emissions that's what we want backface calling for so on your outline that's an emissions you put backface calling and now we got an outline it's a little janky of an outline, but it's an outline nonetheless. And honestly, for something quick and dirty, it works really well. So let me make it thinner. And now we have like this black outline over our 3D object. And I think this will help out a lot in the grease pencil. And with this black outline, now that it's uh, using this emissions with the back face calling on, we could change the color. It doesn't have to be black. We could do it like we could pick the dark color of Suzanne. And you see we have an outline here uh we can make it different colors green blue there's a lot of versatility with making this outline on these 3d objects so this is the first technique that i'm going to use for the buildings because i want all my buildings to have uh black outlines around them now we got our outline right and our outline is really good and i like it and obviously i can change it into a different color so like we can make it into a dark blue instead of the straight black and it can kind of give it a better a better feel for what we're doing here right we can even make it like a nice like red color to contrast pink you know depending on how how we want it right cool so we got our outline going we'll change it back to like a dark blue i like it 
it's good. So the other thing that I want, right, is so this is working on um some of the edges, right? It's working on uh like if you see here on the left side, it's working on the top, but it's not working on this bottom one. Um and you know it's kind of inconsistent, right? So with this that technique, we can mix in another technique that I wanted to show you guys. This is very cool. So obviously we can let's take off the solidify and i'm going to show you guys um a separate technique we can use so i'm going to take off the solidify right now so we're going back to normal right uh and we're going to find our building here here we go so there's a, a way where you can convert 3d objects right into grease pencil right so it'll get like if you go into this edit mode it'll get like all the lines from your top from your topology and it'll like make a streak uh a grease pencil sh stroke for all the lines it'll fill in the faces and let me show you uh how it's used and why i don't like how it's used just flat out and some settings that you can use to fix that right so if we go into object mode here so we're in object mode we click on our dude here our dude our building right uh we go to object then we go to convert right we have convert to grease pencil and you're like yes convert 3d into grease pencil that's that's what i want right so if we do that right now you can see that it turns all white uh and it's because it has these fills so let's mess with these settings in the bottom left so let's make this thicker and then you can see that on the left side it makes a stroke for every single edge that's on them on the on the model right and you know maybe you don't want that <laughs> you know what i mean like i don't want this to look like some stripey thing it does look kind of cool right i like it it's fun but let's say i don't want that i don't want every single one of these lines and another thing is uh let me check some of these other settings so there is export faces so you could do it without the faces so it just kind of makes like a cage a grease pencil cage out of it but then if you click you know don't ex export faces and then you do keep original then you can have your original color that's or original material that's affected by the lights and you have the grease pencil over it but we still have the dilemma right where there's like lines on every single thing you know what i mean and i don't like that right so there's this option here that i i just it's right in front of my face and i just never thought about using it which is only seam only seam edges so only convert seam edges, right? And basically what we can do is we can choose the specific edges on the objects, right? Uh, and like basically pick and choose what turns into a grease pencil object that we can affect, right? So let's go out. It's like move this. Let's get rid of it. And let's go back right so how do we make a seam how do we make an edge a seam right this is the seam stuff is usually used for uh, uv mapping or like texturing um so but we're not gonna be using it for that which is kind of neat it's, it's like a separate use so this is what we're gonna do i'm going to go into edit mode and i'm going to go into edge mode by pressing two or you can click here at the top edge mode and i'm gonna hold alt right and I'm gonna cl click on all the edges that I want this grease pencil on, right? So I'm gonna click on this edge. I'm gonna click on this edge and I'm holding Alt Shift. So I'm adding to the selection. So I'm selecting all these, so Alt Shift. I want, all my, I want grease pencil on all this right here. This here, this here, this one here, this one here and at the top. I think I also want it on the bottom too, right? So now I have all these edges that I think should have grease pencil on them. Now, right click, right? And you click mark seam, boom, right? And when you mark the seam and you get out of selecting them, you see that they turn red. So you can really tell where those seams are at. So now when I use the convert object into grease pencil, it's only, and I select that little option, it's only gonna make those the grease pencil. And I think that's fabulous. So let's go there let's go i mean not go there let's go to object mode go to object at the top go back to convert into grease pencil but this time select only seam edges and boom we have the ed only the the edges that we want in grease pencil which is great right 
obviously we can mess with the thickness, make them thicker. We could, oops, go back, object, convert, freeze pencil. Only seams. I put keep original because I want my original 3D object there. Um, and then for the stroke offset, if you really look at it, it kind of has like these weird lines here. You may want to uh, separate them away. You see how they just kind of like float away. Uh, but basically you do it enough so it doesn't leave those weird edges and maybe even make it let thinner You can see it here. There we go. You see how they're they're flying off So maybe you just make it thick enough so it touches it. Maybe that's too thick. Let's put it closer. Let's do point one and Let's make it as thin as we can. So let's make it Wait, 15 thickness so boom, I got my lines and you can always edit these grease pencils afterwards, right? Okay. Let me get a sip of coffee here, guys. So now we have two techniques, right? We have the technique that gives you the outline with the solidify modifier. And then we have the grease pencil mark scenes convert object, right? So we're going to leave this. I like it. So what I was showing earlier is the select uh, the edge loop right or the the bounding box so if i were to select and you can't really see so let me make this dark there you go so if you were to select let's say these but you only wanted to select the perimeter of this like you only want the the outside edge if you go to select up here go to select edge loops and do select boundary loops boom you only selected the outside and this could be like a fun quick way to select things another option that you have in here is select uh select loops and you can do inner region right so what you could do here is let's say you select just the outside of something like you you want this and this oh man here and then i don't know all the way down here so let's say you have this edge selection but you want to select all the squares in between them you go to select select loops and do select loop inner region and it'll select the inner region of your edge loops very useful ways to select things guys very cool very cool anyway let's get out of here